Let's try playing some games on Shogi Club 24 and see how things go. Uh, yeah, let's try a rated game. Why not? <laughs> Mage and Sen game? <laughs> I'm amused that that's listed there, but clearly I'm not eligible. Um, so, let's see. I don't know. Something that's a shorter time control with 30 second Byoyomi seems fun. And we'll probably have a challenge soon. Ah, 15 minutes and 30 second Byoyomi as the best. I'm curious about the rationale, actually. So, I get that it's a fantastic time control for playing real games and for learning. Um, yeah, there's, for many players, that would be a very good time control. Because longer time controls aren't sustainable f for most folks. They can't commit all day to playing Shogi. Um, so, okay, we've sought a game here. Um, oh, this shows other people looking for games in a similar category. Let me try pick somebody. Oh, there we go. Sure. Yeah, let's play. Good luck. Alright, so 60 seconds main time, 30 second view of Yomi. Alright, so this indicates uh, that we can't hard commit to uh, third file rook. Oh, okay. So wait, they don't want to play Bishop Exchange. Fine. I get it. Yeah, so last it was suggested, hey, we could just play normal static rook, right? Oh, maybe I want to try that. How bad can it be? Let's just learn all the openings all at once. But no, this is kind of fun. Um so how do I make progress here? This is a normal thing, right? People do this. And we're going to fight that off. And let's see. I mean, I guess we could do this, right? Oh, they threaten our head of our bishop, so we have to do something different. And we're going to build a castle through a completely incorrect move order. Um, but as long as we have a castle at the end of the day, that's what matters, right? <laughs> Maybe? Um, am I dead here? Thought I was fine. That's kind of aggressive. Sure, let's play this. Um, hmm. I thought I was just fine here, no? Let's promote. And there's squares my bishop can go on. That seems kind of fun, right? Okay, and then we build the rest of this. And then can drop a pawn and kick the silver away. And completely surround my bishop. Um... Okay, point taken, my everything is loose. Yeah, uh, 1530 is deemed less helpful than other time controls. I see. Um, so they've trapped their own bishop. So, 
I'll break my own castle, because why not? Um, yeah, now I'm starting to see why not. All right, we'll go collect the bishop for our problems. There will be many problems, but... Oh! Uh, yeah, no, that lands with check. Somehow I thought that was a novelty that, that gave me a tempo. But the tempo was mine all along there. Um, my plan was to pawn drop to defend this. Hmm. I'm trapping my bishop. It's gonna suck. Um, all because I never pushed this pawn once more. Oh, a tempo, eh? I guess they figure I can't do anything with the tempo. Not sure how accurate that assumption is. This looks fun. I mean, yeah, I could push the rook pawn, but that would be the logical thing to do here. Why well, play logically when I can just sack, 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 and just have fun? Okay, they defend. This allows me to take this token two different ways. Um, I don't see any downside with taking a token. Starting to see a downside but I'm still going to take it. So now I can take the knight twice. I want to activate my rook, though. This damn pawn of mine is in my way. Um, interesting. I wasn't using the rook anyway. How bad could it be to give them a rook? Pretty terrible, but no. Um, so if I drop, no, I can't drop a pawn there. I could drop a pawn here. Guess we'll take a lance. So we've got a knight and a lance. What I could do with these, I do not know. What they can do with the rook, who knows. Okay, they again break up my pieces. I can move my gold away, or I can move it down. Um, hmm. There seem to be some problems in this position. Yeah, splitting my golds doesn't seem to be an improvement. Okay.
That's ugly, but we'll do it. And I still have my pawn drop on the rook's head idea. And then I still have the snipe drop, but I don't have a third move after that. Maybe dropping a lance somewhere. Maybe I should chase the silver. Okay. I seem to have all the time in the world in this position. That just doesn't make sense. Um, so, yeah, they take my pawn, I take back with my king, because otherwise they have a rook drop. Unless the rook drop is useless. Maybe it is. And then the silver goes back and then they attack my pinned piece. Yeah, that's not great. So instead, we'll use the king to hold this position together, which shouldn't work. Um, okay, they offer a piece just to break up my defense. That's smart. That's a good move. Okay. Let's offer something so they can break up their defense. And then we can move this horse back and strike both of these. Hmm. So now they've blocked their rook. This looks like the most interesting move I can find. Um, I'm not sure where my horse is going next. I'm not sure it matters. Okay, so this doesn't land with check. So I think my king's fine. I mean, sure, they get a gold or two or whatever, or they have a dragon, you know, it's fine. You only, it's only useful to have pieces that you use. Useless pieces are not valued. Um, so we'll activate the horse and give the king an escape. Meanwhile, pawn drop in front of the gold is threatened, so they probably drop a pawn there. And I drop a pawn and try to force this open. Or do lance takes. Try to force it open. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure which. Or we drop a knight, which hits this gold and this pawn. At which point their king might start running to just get the heck out of here while it's still possible to run. Or they don't. <laughs> That's a defense. Um, I'm not sure that a defense is correct here, because if I can catch the king in the center of the board, how much is a defense going to help out? So, 
with pawn takes, I can move this horse here. If gold takes, I take this gold. Rook takes, gold drop is checkmate. Um, yeah, they take another gold general. Um, right. Captures and shogi are not mandatory. Um, eh, why not? The sentence is my horse in the corner to a sad time. Okay, so we just walk the king out of here. But yeah, my idea is to try to take this point. Okay. Um, let's offer this exchange. Rook takes, half pawn takes, silver takes, knight takes, like, Unless I've missed something. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, man. Um, but this is another idea. Okay, Simon, so check. Um... I think this is reasonable. Or more reasonable than the alternative. I can take this twice. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't twice capture it. Yeah, and this is where you're mentioning 1530 is something like players would take more seriously than I might be taking this game. Um... So you can learn more from a serious game. Hmm. Okay, we'll offer this and they won't take it. Oh, they will take it. Okay. Well, this looks kind of straightforward at this point. Thanks for the game. Ah, I can go for third file rook. I just can't go for Ishida in that situation. Good point. Yeah, so that was an experience. Um, yeah, so third file rook is playable. Ishida not playable. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back to my board. Not intentionally, like, share this, but, um, yeah, so, in general, third file rook is playable. Here, there's a tactic specifically here, but, um, <laughs> I mean, I could close the diagonal and play third foul rook, I think is the point. Uh, he missed mate in two. This must have been... Well, let me guess. Oh, actually, back to the shared board. Yeah, so... Wait. Oh, I've lost everything on my board. Okay, well, that's something. Interesting, because that's how analysis works here. Um, but he missed mate into, I guess, here? If there, no. This wouldn't be mate into there. 
uh, close the bishop diagonal first. Yeah, and then play third foul rook. That makes sense. I don't know why I seem like in two years to have completely forgotten everything that I've been playing for the longest time. <sighs> I don't know. It'll come back to me soon. I'm just feeling a need to keep trying things, and it's just... It's not working. Oh, he fell for my mate in two. Okay, yes. Okay, so I wasn't crazy to think... I, I was certain he won't take this. Surely he's just going to run. Um, yeah. And, yeah, here... I mean, I'm in danger, but... No, there's... There's no sugarcoating this. Uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> um, I don't know. How terrible is it? Anyway, this is 10Q versus 11Q on Shogi Clip 24 in a 30 second fast game. So lots of things can happen. Um, if I were to review the game. Yeah, I could close the diagonal and play third file rook, which is probably what I should do. They played right hand fourth file rook after pushing this pawn twice. And after putting, well, no, they typically right hand fourth file rook does put the silver here. And then they immediately open this. Um, yeah, so I'm one tempo slow on building um, uh, Yagra. Wait, so that said... No, it would not make sense for me to bring um, the gold up first. The silver up was looked okay-ish. Um, this was silly because they can defend both points. I thought it was something. It's not. So, yeah. What I've got here is just a pawn loss and my castle smashed. That's the result of this. Um, this, I don't know. Why am I analyzing the Blitz game that neither of us played too great? Wait, why did I do that? I tried analyzing this during the game. They take, I take, they capture back, and I lose a silver, and my lance is hanging. So, yeah, that's not great. Um, hmm. Yeah, why am I analyzing this? I don't know. <sighs> Clearly errors were committed. Many, many errors were committed. So, yeah. I should stick to opening stuff I know. Um, I guess that's the plan for next game. Um, let's seek out another 30 second hope short, just for fun. Refresh the game room, see if there's anybody in a similar boat who might like a game. Um, oh, this is a list just of people who aren't playing games, so I could match anybody in this list. Uh, okay. Yeah, this could be fun. Good luck. I go first. Okay. Uh, this opens our diagonal. Uh, let's just close the diagonal and not get stuck in those lines. And then we'll play this. And then we'll play this. There we go. Third file rook. And now we'll make sure to not drop some, drop the head of this. And then we'll castle. You can even save a tempo this way on castling. And that's... They're indicating a rapid attack. Um... So yeah, we're just playing normal third fall rook. Let's push here to gain that end game tempo that we all know and love. 
And now what? Um, King out. Okay, they count. Oh, right, I could have pushed this twice. That would have been an option. Um, so we can play this and transition to Kimuramino. That's playable. There we go. Oh, I've given up Silver Crown because I played it this way. Okay. Right, so they're going to attack along this diagonal. I don't need to chase this immediately. Um... I can switch to Opposing Rook? I don't know if this is a terrible idea. Hmm. All my pieces are misplaced. Again. Okay, so we'll just build Tower Mino. Uh, they attack this twice. I'm defending it twice. Later there will be a crisis. Right now there's not a crisis. Um, well... <sighs> this is stupid. I should not do this. Uh, incredibly, they play the move that I first observed as being possible. Oh, I mean, they have this bishop fork, and the bishop does promote, but uh, that's not ideal. Um, so yeah, this bishop promotes. It's forking my two silvers. can defend this way, and the bishop goes off into no man's land, and then I can drop the bishop here, hitting their bishop and lance. And we exchange. Okay, oh right, there's another bishop fork, or rather the bishop just drops in my camp. But, um, yeah, and then it's going to attack my rook next. Hmm. Okay, we play the weirdest bishop drop ever, trying to corral their bishop. Mm. Yeah, this allows them to break through quite forcefully. Uh, so I offer... Yeah, we're going to offer that. Can I get a horse for my rook? I can get a horse for my rook. That's a bit kind of them to oblige me on that. And I guess we're going to just start tackling the castle from this direction. Um, sure. Okay. Why did I think this one material? It's probably because I'm crazy. Um, 
So there's a weakness right here. Let's hit the weakness and hope something positive results. Actually, if they defend it, uh, I can still continue attacking. Yeah, let's take it anyway. That's a lame tactic. Because even though I regain this piece, they're just going to reinforce their castle again. Um, at least they should. They don't. So I can continue attacking. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll s Oh, well, this is kind of silly. It prevents the rook from moving to one square, and only one square. That doesn't do much good for me. Um... Fine, we'll offer this exchange. You can take my knight. They don't. Yeah, I'm in trouble. So I block my bishop so I can activate my other bishop. Um... Hmm. Let's push the edge. Okay. Yeah, my bishop here doesn't have much anymore to go. I guess we'll step forward one. And then see this makes any sense. The idea that if the knight takes, I can attack the knight. If the lance takes, I can target the lance like this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense for them to push. It makes sense for me to resist and to take here and to take here. And they drop the rook. And uh, this is not so easy. Um, yeah, we block. And their attack is off to the races. Oh, interesting. That's clever. That is a good move, sir. Um. Wow. Well, shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this rook takes is forceful. Um, how forceful is my attack? Probably not much. Probably not very forceful, rather. Okay, we're just going to run. 
Again, they've got this escape square covered, so, like, I'm not in any grand hurry to uh, try some sacrifice that's just doomed to fail. I might push this pawn threatening this subtle thing, but it's not so subtle. Um, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll take that, because why not? Oh, that's why not. Okay, that's a very good reason why not. Um... Okay, we might as well use our remaining pieces while we still have them. Also, this gives me an escape square. That's totally why I played this. It had everything to do with the escape square, nothing to do with um, this crazy sacrifice that's doomed to fail. Okay. Ah, sure. Why not? Let's attack over here. It's a fun little distraction. There we go. Successful attack. Um... Hmm. Not sure how much I want to take that. <laughs> um. Key is just lowering your expectations to something that's attainable. Sure, this looks fun. You get a knight. You get a knight. Everybody gets a knight. Alright, so... That gives us another pawn in hand, but... um, eh, it's fine. They bring up a knight, we can take it. If they bring up this knight, sure. My stuff is hanging. Uh, but now maybe we could use this. Do I take that? I'm not sure. If I don't, I get made it. So maybe I should take it. But then they take here. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it. Sure, we have to fight back somehow, one square at a time. Hmm. Let's get another pawn. I'm in check. Oh, I can take this. I wasn't using that piece anyway. Ditto this one. Got three knights. Three knights should be a little bit of fun. Um, or provide a little bit of fun. Let's attack this. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're pretty dead. 
Um, let's see. <laughs> Unpin the silver, which is doomed. Yeah, okay, they attack the doomed silver. Um, but I unpin it so that if they take my knight, I can recapture. If they don't take my knight, I can follow with other peace drops. So let's push here. This allows me to drop closer to their king. Okay, so we got this piece drop. They don't tick. In turn, I've got this piece drop, which hits their dragon. Uh, of course, they dodge the attack. Um, I'll take this. They do recapture, astoundingly. That recapture was not forced. Um, okay, let's offer this. Suddenly things get real. Yep. Okay, they decide to attack. I decide I want a rook. Um, okay. I'll make some effort to try to win this. Um, they don't have a rook in hand. I missed that. That's a good move. Okay, I can take this. Should I take it? Almost certainly. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take this so we can continue running. Um, oh, wait, they've mate in one, don't they? They missed it. Okay. Um, This doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, they still have mate in one. They willingly missed it, I'm going to say. Or they're playing a slack move just for fun. Either way, it's a fun little activity for both of us here. Um, maybe I should try to relieve the mate in one. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not a good try. It doesn't even relieve the mate. Yeah, so they still have everything here. Um. Okay. I mean, I guess this is a sensible try. Eventually they either play a checkmate or we just keep having a fun adventure. Okay, fun adventure times it is. Sure, why not? I'm not opposed to having fun adventure times. Because mistakes can happen. All right, so we'll take this. We've got some pieces. That's better than having no pieces. Um, all right, we'll take here. That's a check for sure. Let's block it. That's another check. Let's move around it. That's yet another check. Uh, let's see. Sure, why not? Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Put the rook back here somewhere. Okay, that's a check. <laughs> that's another check. Um... Oh, that's checkmate. Whoops. My mistake. I hung my king. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go back to the lobby. Uh, sure. Yeah, so we were having a silly game at the end there. I mean, it, maybe it was silly from the outset, to be honest. But yeah, my king could have gone back to where it was last turn, and it's still checkmate everywhere, but somehow my opponent kept missing it again and again and again. So we're still hanging out at 10q on Shogi Club 24. I guess that means I'm not really... <laughs> I mean, there's a comparison on 81 Dojo, which mentions if this is your 81 dojo rank likely this is where we would place or if this is your shogi club 24 rank this is what we would recommend your initial rating be on 81 dojo there is that recommendation and based on that set um like i wouldn't be too don on 81 dojo but we're playing 30 seconds it's kind of silly um, right, this person would like to play a 10, uh, fast game, so let's challenge them. Sure. Oh, all right, good luck. So, yeah, last time, hmm, mistakes continue being made. But we're going to play third Favrik over and over again. And this time not play uh, it into uh, Kimura Amino, because that's something I usually reserve for playing central Favrik. And it doesn't make sense to play that when I'm playing third Favrik. Um, so... 
Let's just play normal third fall rook and not freak out when they're threatening our bishop. I know it's a novel concept to not freak out when my bishop is attacked. But maybe I can actually do it this time and just play normal moves. It's not a concept. Um, so this is something that sometimes you play in third file rook. Um, this is sometimes a thing you play. This is also sometimes a thing you play. And here we are. We're seeing pawn tension number one. If I take, knight takes. It doesn't look great. But yeah, well, here we go. Push this up. Trying to build silver crown, but also trying not to screw up the move order like we always do. I guess it's this fear of embarrassment more than anything that's holding me back. Um, okay, we're going to build our castle. It's the wrong castle to build. Oh, that's a clever move. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Yeah. Nice. Um, my moderator bot instantly knocked out the, um, that link. That was good. Indicates that I've done my setup properly. Um, so I can take this pawn. Two different ways, but one's better than the other. Ah, screw it. Let's do this. Hmm. Can't do that. Gold takes to be a blunder because then they drop a gold on the head of my rook and bishop. So we're doing silver takes instead. And based on having played silver takes, well, now we have this available to us. And we have this available to us. And again, I get forked. Wait, either general works the same way here. Hello. I noticed the one fork, but not the other. But it's the same fork. Oh my goodness. I've only seen that with the gold before. Well, that's surprising. Okay, I'm going to play a silly move here. Yeah, you get my rook and my bishop. I get your rook and your knight. It's not an even trade at all. Uh, so that's why this is silly. But fine. This rook is instantly very effective, as rooks usually are. Uh, I have no idea what to do. Oh, right, so, of course, that's the logical way for them to proceed here. They took my pawn. So we take here, try to bust up their castle, but... What can I do? Um... Hmm. I mean, this is an idea. Seems like a terrible idea. But it's an idea. Um, hmm. 
Okay, you attack me, I attack you. Oh, that's a check. I can't take that. I can run, but I cannot take. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. This looks fun, right? Thanks for the game. Well, something happened that game. I don't know. Um, let's see. Do we have a comment? They changed the board dimension. Oh, they left the game. Never mind. That's not a comment. I just saw the text scroll at the bottom of the screen, but let's see. So here, yeah, I played third file rook. I didn't panic. I basically had no reaction to anything they were doing. Uh, I played this, and then I played a variety of different castles, which really make no sense in this position. What should I do? So this is the position where I just keep getting embarrassed over and over. Um, I've done this so many times in my tournament games on 81 Dojo. And, like, I get it. You can push the center pawn, bring the bishop around. Is that what I'm supposed to do if they make no attack on my king? Is it... Like, should I bring the bishop around in this case? Um, seems sensible enough. Keep silver 4-3 for later. Okay. That makes sense. There's no need to rush this. So bring, tuck the king on the right. Um... I remember there are variations where they play the super high speed silver attack, and I do, in that case, need to react when, like, they're here. When the silver's up here and the pawn's up there, then I need, like, within two turns to react and get the silver up, but otherwise the silver 4-3 is a waste of time. It can be important to keep the connection between the silver and bishop for as long as possible. So yeah, in general, that makes sense. If they push this rook pawn twice, uh, well, then the only way to keep that connection would be to move both of them up. But don't automatically play pawn 1-4. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I play this automatically because um, it looks impressive to viewers. It's not because I think it's necessarily useful for my bishop. In fact, yeah, I was asking, should my bishop go around this way? Well, if the bishop's going around this way, I don't definitely don't need to push pawn 1-4. Um, it's hard to move the bishop around while the silver's in the way, but like you say, there's not any rush there. Um, mm hmm So at some point, the bishop, like, once they push this twice, the bishop ends up in front of the rook. Things get harder here. Pawn 1-6. Oh, right. That's something they have to play. I don't have to play pawn 1-4. Especially because me pushing pawn 1-5 has never managed... Well, no. In quite a few games, it has successfully activated my bishop. But in all those games, it was extremely unsound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not so much um, thing impressing people like, oh, he moves so fast. But goodness, if I moved slower, people would think I have no idea what I'm doing. They'd be right, but um, 
Yeah. That makes sense. See, so yeah, I can save this for later. Make sure to build at least half Mino. King 8-2 might be optional, but probably is a good idea, especially if things start opening up. Which, uh, they also suggest, um, I think, playing pawn 6-4, and then only defending the pawn once it becomes necessary to defend it. But it's a useful blocker to prevent the typical bishop, knight, mate thing. Well, I'll we'll see if I can do better next time. All right, so let's go back to our lobby. Uh, continue doing faster games, because why not? Even though they're not good for you. So, yeah, we're on our way up to 9Q, guys. Woo! It's such a long road. Uh, so wait S means wait short. Wait S2 is a slightly longer. Sure, let's play a game. Good luck. Okay, they have Senta here. Open this diagonal. Tempo loss, bishop exchange. Everything else goes out the window. Alright, here we go. Um... Hmm, let's not push that right away. Hang on. Hang on a dang second. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I've just done here. <laughs> this looks fun, right? This is a bad idea. We'll just call it like Sakata opposing rook or something. But this is a bishop exchange variation. All right, so yeah, we have to defend this point. And then they can like claw into our corner and it's painful. Um, Okay. Yeah, so they redrop back here. This time that's not promoted. Um, so we hit this point. They defend. And I guess we do yet another bishop exchange. Oh, interesting. Oh, right, my bishop's trapped, so of course they can do that. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make the most loose and ridiculous play here. Uh, I got too curious. I always wondered, like, just how crazy can this opening get? Um, so, today we find out. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, so... Hmm. I guess the damage is already inflicted. On my own castle, that is. So I've been planning this bishop drop here. Uh, 
Um, Oh, that actually is no good. Alright, whatever. You escape with your promoted bishop. That's fine. I'll hunt you down. Somehow. Like this. Oh, I don't have a gold drop there anymore because I put my gold on the board. My grand plan of putting a piece right in front of their rook or a pawn in front of the rook. Either way, that entire plan was based on a faulty assumption. All right, so yeah, let's bring this out. Try to get something in hand so we can drop something in front of the rook. It's too late. Okay, um, so this is just a move order to get us to Kimuso Castle. Everything's back to normal. Our just king is in the weirdest spot, but uh, our bishop's not useful here. Okay. But hey, we've got control of the center. That counts for something, right? No. <laughs> Not at all. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll get the king out of the center. This isn't much better, but it's ever so slightly better, so we'll do it. Okay, why not? King one square further from the center. Push the edge pawn. Uh, yeah, they're building a large castle, as they should. We'll control 5-5. Five, five and start building some... Oh, I've blocked my bishop. I have a bishop this game. I don't believe I do, but I actually do. Um... Hmm. Blocking my bishop was terrifically dense of me. Okay. We're going to build some strange something in the center of the board. Okay. My knight attacks that square. Sure. Let's see it. Ah, I finally attack my knight's head. But that's a free pawn. I mean, sure, it's exactly where my king is at, so, like, I shouldn't be taking stuff without some fear of what might happen. Um... Mm hmm. OK. 
Okay, I activate my knight. This is a bit silly. They wanted a knight so they could fork my pieces. I can't blame him. It's a good fork. It's definitely a fork. Um... They say not to run from a fork. But forks are terrifying, so maybe we should run. Okay, let's bring the silver toward their king. A knight's not a terrible piece. Oh, they just attack this directly, don't they? Oops. Um. Sure, we'll defend this pawn and attack their knight accidentally here. It's kind of fortunate that we attack this because we could use a knight right about now. Okay, my rook is not making very much progress on the file it's currently on, but if I bring it close to the king, I just lose it. So, yeah, we're going to take this way. They prevent my fork. It's like somehow they could see that coming. Um... Screw it. Why not? How bad is this move? What? That is super weird. Why would you do that? I guess one fork was more obvious than the other. Um, either way, I'm able to exchange my knight for gold. But now I no longer have the... Well, I have this other knight. We might as well use it, right? One good fork deserves another. Um... If I drop the gold here, gold takes, knight takes, horse takes. I don't have lots of cheeky follow-ups. Cheeky follow-ups would be awesome, but I seem to be fresh out of those. So we'll just have to play with normal follow-up moves. Um, I'm not seeing anything better. Okay. That does attack my rook. Subway rook time.
Sure. Why not? And they have knights. Um, okay, so we activate our rook somehow. Almost activate our bishop. This looks fun. Let's take that. Hmm. Continue blocking my rook with pawns, because I just am blind. Um, okay, yeah, that's check. be nice if I didn't have to block my rook with a pawn. Okay. Guess we'll take this. Do I need a silver to checkmate? Maybe. Um, this looks appropriate. There we go. Thanks for the game. Well, that was an event. Um, not totally sure what happened, but okay, opponents left the game. They're not interested in mutual review. Uh, yeah, something happened in the game. Bishop exchange happened. And I play this most unsound variation. Crazy, crazy stuff happened, and I checkmated them. Because uh, they just didn't attack.
for the longest time. Eventually they did attack, but it was too late. Um, so that's more or less what happened here. Oh yeah, they walked into these forks. Uh, yeah, I did. I was quite surprised at one move and chuckled a bit at it. Because, like, logically speaking, this seems to be um, a bit more logical. Like, if they're avoiding night forks, if that's the theme, then this avoids a night fork. After which, I seem to be in a fair bit of trouble here. Um, yeah, all my pieces are misplaced, so I don't deserve to win this. Um, but yeah, they fell into a fork in this fun, fun time control we're playing in. Um, wait, if I toggle this, does this give me back the game? Wait. So I'm able to get the full game back this way. I toggle to the shared board and go to the end. Okay, that's not it. Yeah, I still don't understand how to reset this to get the exact game continuation. Uh, once you've diverged from the game, I don't know how you undiverge. Um, again, maybe there's some kinks in the analysis, or it's just my confusion operating this tool. Um, the go button doesn't seem to do anything here, so anyway, that was pretty cool. Uh, maybe I do one more. It's so addicting, isn't it? All right, so we'll seek a 30 second game. And yeah, we've ranked up to 9Q somehow with our crazy, ridiculous opening nonsense. Um... But it's a bit of a fun adventure on the way. Uh, I don't recall my win streak at present, but that's okay. Uh, they're both we're both looking for the same sort of thing here. Perhaps I offer a game. Sure, why not? This could be fun. If they don't want to, that's fine too. There are other opponents out here. I kind of wish the auto pairing were enabled. I don't really like the notion of bugging people. 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. Okay, yeah, there's not yet a response. Maybe they started to... No, they're just AFK. That's cool. Uh, we can challenge this gentleman. Sure. Oh, they're in the middle of a challenge. Okay. Uh, we could challenge this person. They want S instead of S2. Oh, sure. Yeah, why not? Good luck. Okay. Static Rook, eh? Static Rook with this shape. Hmm. Alright. Two can play this game. Hmm. Wait, I'm playing Gota. Why am I playing so sharply here? I don't know. Why am I playing so aggressively as Gota? There's this is wanton aggression. There's not a need for me to play like this. Um I could close the diagonal. I could exchange bishops and continue attacking. That's tempting. I could move my rook over. Now, if I move the rook over, there's a bishop drop here. Um, hmm. OK. 
Okay, we close this. And I'm still attacking the bishop's head. Okay. I have a sense that they've seen this before. But this looks convincing, no? Okay. Interesting. Um... Hmm. We have nothing in hand. This is fine. I've just gambited a pawn for nothing. Oh, did I say a pawn? I meant to say more than a pawn. Um. Interesting. Ah, oh, this looks fun. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, <laughs> yeah. What are castles for, anyway? Castles. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. This looks fun. Castles. All right, so we could drop a bishop here, forking the pawn and that, unless they drop right there. But if they drop right here, I mean, that's a target, right? Um, yeah, let's just activate this, no? And they take our pawn. That's fine. And just bring up our silver. If they drop a pawn... Oh, they don't... Okay. Yeah, I guess that's... That aggression's kind of merited. It blocks their bishop. Hmm... Ah, this looks fine. What have I got to worry about? This pawn is still loose. I'm still attacking their bishop. I can still get initiative various places. Oh, actually, now I might want to protect my center so I don't die immediately. Um, maybe. This looks playable. Oh, I walked into a fork. You know, they say don't run from a fork. Is there a saying about running into forks? Because we seem to be doing that a lot. There's probably not a saying that recommends running into a fork. That's fine. Okay, the rook takes... Um, that's one way to deal with these complications. Hey, I want to activate my rook, too. Why does he get to be the only person who hangs his rook? Could have just taken this with check. Uh, I probably should have been much more cautious than I was. Okay, we both have a rook to drop. He drops first, I die. The end. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it was fun. Mm-hmm.
there. That's a place to drop a rook. Um, this sucks. <laughs> I am dead everywhere here. If they drop a gold here, my king can run out this way, believe it or not. So, yeah, they just need to drop a silver on my head. I don't have the pieces to defend against this. But we both missed this, so here we are. Go speed racer. All right, so... This is fine. We've just missed every tactic this game, um, except maybe one or two that kind of mattered. But we've missed most of the tactics that have shown up in this game. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, let's try this. If they drop a knight, I can just take it. That's ultimately what had me thinking this might be the best move right now. Ah, oh, they drop it here instead, so I can't immediately take it. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll do something. It's better than doing nothing. Yeah, this bishop drop was kind of interesting too. But they're attacking my gold, so I felt the need to try something here. Okay, so... That's kind of obvious, isn't it? I missed the obvious move. Well, that is hilarious. All right, you got me. Nicely spotted. Um, yeah, I have no pawn drops or other drops here, so I have to do this thing, which looks unlikely to prevail. Knight takes is attacking my bishop. Um, if my king moves, I die. If my king doesn't move, I die. It's not a great situation. Gotta take this way. Yeah, this silver is epic here. It's well placed. All right, that's a check. And that collects my bishop. Oh, in fact, he's got enough pieces to checkmate me here. Wait, no, the bishop covers this point. So, I mean, yeah, he's got the material to checkmate me, but it takes time. Impatience. No, it just takes a silver drop, and then, yeah, there's pain and suffering. Yeah, so he plays the patient move. And I have basically no defense. Uh, what do we try? I mean, we can try this. 
If silver takes, we have mate in one. If silver doesn't take, they just approach our castle. Okay. This is just like the other variation, except they can actually cover the mating square. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's cool. Nicely done. Good game. Uh, let's see. Where the heck's the resign button? There it is. Good game. All right. So, moral of that story, we can't get away with everything. That's perhaps a good moral to end on. Yeah, so... Oh man, I thought... Like, clearly I don't... This isn't my main opening. Uh, Bishop 5-5 five five is well-deserved and well-spotted. Um, this is kind of interesting here. Before I, like did everything that cost me the game. This might be an interesting point. Um, so my play of blocking the diagonal didn't do anything to address the largest concern here. My original concern was the bishop exchange and then bishop drop 5-5 five five and like there's not much I can do there. But closing the diagonal obviously didn't change any of that, other than I just don't have a bishop to use. Um, so I tried to fight on here. I was impressed by my own play, but it's not that impressive. Uh, here, bringing the silver out, is pro or even opening the diagonal, either way, would have been smarter. So yeah, he's just collected a clean pawn, and I have nowhere to castle. This is how this ended up playing out. And I said, like, this is fine. We'll just attack. How bad can it be? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Turns out um, that without being able to make progress... Uh, yeah, I had to be to bring the silver back. And there was some reason I didn't do that. But retreating the silver is probably the safer move since there's this fork. And just in general, like, splitting the castle is never smart. I thought I had some specific reason to do this. I don't remember. But, yeah. Then I got their knight, and tactics were missed, and but eventually they mated me anyway. So. Um, I think that relegates us back down to 10q. Right? So if I update the room, if I look down in the list, uh, I don't see myself in the list. Oh, but on the side here, um, well, that was my record before I started, right? Or is my name still in the table here somewhere? Yeah, so there we are at 643, back at 10q, right about where we started. I don't know. It was fun to play some silly games, but it shows, like, if I'm going to play Static Rook, I've got a lot more to learn. Um, yeah, these people have been playing for years. They're good. I hope we enjoyed these games here.